what led me to marry Byron Vashon Gooden is God. Is nobody but God. Um, why did I choose to marry him? Um, because he loves me. He loves me. He has shown in his actions that he loves me. Um, and he had a had a vision from for us for the from the very first day we met. And he told me the vision. And the way life happens, you're not always mature enough to hear, get, receive visions. And so, though we didn't necessarily, either one of us was mature enough when he initially shared his vision, he never gave up on it. And his love for me is what makes me, you know, really and truly love him. Uh, and so started to marry him because I love him and I said yes because I want to be his wife I want us to have a life together and I know I enjoy him so I just want to do it you know the way God has shared for me to do it I feel like I've grown all I can as a single person and just ready to be a wife and I'm happy to be Miss Gooden when your legs don't work like they used to before and I can't sweep you off of your feet Will your mouth still remember the taste of my love? Will your eyes still smile from your cheeks? Darling, I will be loving you Till we're 70 And baby, my it's still for less Heart of 23 And I'm thinking about how People fall in love in mysterious ways Maybe just the touch of a hand Well me I fall in love with you every single day And I just want Tell you I am So honey now Take me into your loving arms Kiss me under the light of a thousand stars Place your head on my beating heart I'm thinking now Marriage is a gift from God, for first of all. When something is a gift from God, you can't take that for granted. And you have to take it very, it's a sacred thing that God had given us. We got to take it sac very sacred. And to her, the reason why to her, she been through thick and thin since 06. She been there with me even when I was away from 13 to basically 20. And I just thank God, it's a reason why God brought us back together like this. She say she thought about me at all times. I thought about her at all times. So me, the reason why I said it, and I, she don't give no confusion, no drama, and she trying to elevate herself and edify everybody, which is a good, positive thing, what you want in your life. And me, I give that back in return. So that's why God have blessed us and continue to bless us with abundant life and prosperity and financially too, not just for us, but to support others that for like my mother, my mother, her mother, children. We have to leave in a good foundation if we leave today. I want to be able to have a foundation that we left so it could keep going on in our life journey. But the reason why I love her, because it was a gift from God and it's so many ways I could tell you, explain the gift, 
But it's it's simple, a gift from God, and when a gift from God coming from you, you can miss it if you not have your eyes open. But you can receive it if you pay attention and take it for granted that, hey, that is, this is something special that God given me, and I have to be a man to be a responsible man to be a husband that I always vision vision is more important I I seen I'm 47 years old and don't get me wrong I never, ne I never got married in my life but I always wanted to but I always want to be very patiently when you do it and if you do that God will grant you someone that's in your life and continue to be in your life that's have that humble at ease understanding mindset which is no confusion and we enjoy we fun we have fun she's fun i'm fun we cool we cool but most important who got us and got us right here today is the man above which is god and i just like to thank him and give him all of the glory all of the glory to to him due to the fact we are here because of him. And I like to say thank you, thank you, thank you. We are gathered together in the sight of God to join together this man and woman in holy matrimony. It is an honorable estate instituted of God signifying unto us the mystical union that is between Christ and his church. That holy estate Christ adored and beautified with his presence and first miracle in Canaan of Galilee. It is commended in the scriptures to be honorable among all and therefore is not by any to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, discreetly, advisedly, soberly, and in the fear of God. Into this holy estate, these two persons present come now to be joined. Who will give this woman to be married to this man? We do. Dear Heavenly Father, we come thanking you, Lord God, for this day. We thank you for Byron and for Rashonda. We ask, O oh Father God, by the power of your Holy Spirit, that you would once again pour out your Holy Spirit upon us and here in this wedding gathering. We realize, O oh Father God, that without you we are nothing. Without you we can do nothing. And so, Father God, we ask for your divine guidance and your divine direction right now. And it's only you can give it. And bless this union and bless this ceremony to be what you would have it to be. And we'll be sure to give your name the praise as well as the glory. This we ask in Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. 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 Now, we are going to have the bride to give words of thanks to her parents. And after which, the parents will have a prayer. A prayer. Okay, so mom and dad, I just want to say 
y'all can come a little closer to me. <laughs> okay, so I just want to say to you all, you have truly given your all to me. All, and for this, I thank you. To a mother that has been my number one support. To a father that without you, I would not have the standard and expectation of love that I have without the unwavering love that you truly have shown to me. For all that, thank you This time, we're gonna have Mr. Byron Gooden to give thanks to his mom, and after which she will give a prayer for her son. Okay, for a long time, I'm gonna say this to you first. I've watched this love, I've seen it for a whole lot of years. It's a love that I will always cherish, Shonda, you're quite a young lady, and I'm so proud that you and Byron are coming together. Now, I ask, Father, in the name of Almighty Jehovah, that you will be with them with love, respect, communication for as long as they live. And, Father, please, in the name of Jesus, Please, Father, keep them together and let them travel as they go back home. In your care, Father, forever and ever. I give you thanks in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. With this ring, I be wed in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. With these rings, you have now declared your love for one another. These rings are symbolic of that love. And now, all it is left for me to do is to pronounce you husband and wife. And I pronounce you husband and wife by the authority given to me by God in the state of Alabama. You may now kiss your bride. <laughs> Let's get out this month's <laughs> Let's get out this month's And uh, to God be the glory, we got baptized in Jesus. <laughs>